My understanding is the Patriots will extend themselves financially to get Brady back in the fold. And he doesn't have a specific number, but he's hearing that they will extend themselves financially. Ian Rappaport said, as you heard, in excess of $30 million in his report. And so okay. that so would wait, certainly be a raise from $23 million of a year ago. Is it, it also carries the cap hit of okay, there $6.5 million once we assume it's split up over multiple years. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be a one-year deal. That would be my question. This is what they're is, doing. Is, 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 does this north of 30 include that cap hit? Oh, that's a, that's a good question, okay. though, you're because already, that is you're fraudulent. Already, you're already starting at ground zero does. because, okay, you and if – Extending if that if Tom means it as extending meaning give a raise right well you're already in at twenty three I just take it at face value and say well you're if you're gonna pay someone more than thirty million dollars you should do that in real money not make pretend but if they're gonna say dollars but if they're gonna say hey. We offered you know, it 25, but we got that six and a point five. Uh, you know, we're at 32. Guess what? We offered him 32 and he walked. Guess what? That wouldn't have been the count. case no, no, no. if he didn't require the boosts and the raises over the last couple of years. That. Okay. So come on. That's not a valid excuse. That but let's take it at face value. They want to pay him 30 million. They're willing to pay him 30 million bucks a year. Face value from which side? Which side's leaking this information? I don't know. What does that matter? Let's, I'm just saying take it at, at value. It matters if it's Brady's side leaking the information versus the team leaking the information. Why does it matter? Because uh, is Brady using this to get other teams to pony up? All right, for the sake of the conversation, we're saying let's assume it's true. Playing it all like a fiddle. They want to pay $30 million bucks a year. That it's this is factual and this is real life. So then you're at 36. And then. again, with all reporting, all right. we don't know if it is. So right? you're, at 30, you're at 36 then. Team yeah. wants to pay him 30. 36 on the cap, not 36 in real money. Thank you. $30 million. That's what, people what are you going to do that go. bidding for them already? Like they're going to, we're going to count the six and a half for Tom Brady on the cap hit. What are you going to pay him? Money doesn't go away. Dang it. When you're trying to explain it to him. Yes. But what am I going to get paid? What, what is my paycheck going to look if like? If that's really going to come into play, he's going to walk right out the door. Yeah. And say, what? The dead cap money from the last that no. No, he said, yeah, Too we, bad. I've, I've helped you out on these things. This, yeah. this I've been helping count. you for two know, decades. Okay. But see, Jim has the problem because he's already gotten the money. Right, Jim? No, okay. I just had a problem with people saying he was grossly underpaid. When you know what? It's thirteen million of what he's been paid hasn't even been accounted for yet. And everyone looks at the everyone conveniently looks at the salary number for what he's gotten paid and eliminates the bonus number. That's so, all. So, if, assuming it is true and that they're going to pay thirty million in real money, which again would mean over thirty-five, thirty-six million dollars in your cap dollars, you know that would mean goodbye defensive players left and right. Get ready for that. But if that were to happen, and they go to the table and they say, "Yeah, we'll give you thirty million bucks a year," what more does Tom Brady need to say? Well, I'm not going anywhere. Thank you very much. That's that's fair, and I'm going to stay. Well, that's what, where that's where we get what into it. That's more what more does he need? He and so wants to feel he weapons. Wants, he wants he feelings. Wants he wants feel feelings. Loved. He weren't being thrown around as he weapons. He wants to feel loved. He wants to feel the love. Weapons is a Brady term. And he wants term. weapons. Weapons is a Brady term. That's weapon. You notice know, so how Sheff, Sheffer oh, yeah, mentioned are, are weapons. We, are we really at the point in Mike Florio the way Mike Florio describes it? He he goes a little this over is the top. Else. Well, it's not a report. It's how he describes it. It's how he has interpreted the other reports that are out there. As he says, Tom Brady's tenure in New England will hinge on Bill Belichick. That, as he says, assume that the report is true. Robert Kraft, John of the Kraft, they want to give Tom Brady 30 million bucks a year. They're willing to do that. He says, ultimately, Bill Belichick has to want Kraft to write that check. Because Belichick needs to make it clear to Brady that Belichick values the quarterback's contributions and wants him to stay with the team. Right? That it's not just the money for Brady. It's more than that. This is how, this is how Florio interprets it. In other words, Belichick needs to drop to a knee and profess his love for Brady. If Belichick does that, Brady becomes far more likely to stay. If Belichick doesn't, Brady becomes far more likely to leave. 
I, I find that ridiculous. I think Tom and Bill have a great, uh, not a great, a, they've buried whatever hatchet there was to bury over a year ago. Well, Greg Olson believes that the Patriots are trying to convince Rob Gronkowski to play again. That's, I mean, it seemed genuine, didn't it? Or do you think it was just some ha-ha joke? No, I thought. I, no, it's I, not a ha-ha. Hey, said, if you were the Patriots, would you try to get Rob Gronkowski? Would you have been trying to get Rob Gronkowski back pretty much since he yeah, said 11, he wasn't going to yeah, play? Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I can see that. Sure. At what point do you quit and say, well, that, that's fruitless. Let's not do that anymore. Well, I, I don't think you count on it in any way, shape, or form. Well, and you, certainly, you certainly shouldn't have been waiting around from last year to make some kind of decision. Right, he so held the team they, no, he didn't. Uh, he told, he told yeah. you last. He so told you Hardy. 15 months ago he's not going to play football so anymore. If, I, like if, if they're, I just look at it and say, if they're trying to get him back now, then they certainly were trying to get him back last year. Yeah. yeah. If it's still going on now. Yeah. And if that is true, that they were trying to get him back all year, and then he didn't come back. Yeah. And we know how Robert Kraft felt about it. He went on the record. He said he wanted him back like everybody else. At what point do you say, oh, we're not going to do that, that thing again. That was dumb. Sitting here waiting around trying to get Gronk to come back. He didn't come back. At what point do you say, we're, we, we're not going to do it anymore? Now till the We're going to have to actually now plan. February 27th. Who's going to play tight end for the next five years for this team? February 27th starts the combine. You got, you got till net, till then, figure it out. Like you got to move on. At I some mean, an point. answer, not figure it out, but get an answer. Like, is, we playing games. You can play grab ass. Are we gonna we can promote the brand? Are you done? What are you in? You in or out? Like if he, de he decides he wants to come back at some point, I would welcome him back. But I would not be trying to convince him. No thanks. Fine, you're retired. Whatever. See you later. We got to go start figuring out who our tight end is. Were you surprised? Because it's clearly not you.